If you've been wanting to learn how to braid and weave or extension hair into the hair, then this is the video for you, so stay tuned. Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to braid and weave our extensions into the hair. We're going to be using a bright color like this so this video will also be suitable for visual learners. So if that's you, I'm thinking about you boo. For this video, let me go ahead and tell you what we're going to be using and then we'll just dive right in. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be using some pre-stretched braiding hair like this here and I've got it in hot pink so you should be able to easily see it on camera. This is Kanikalon fiber. Kanikalon is my preference because usually it burns and it melts easily for you to be able to shape it into curls things like that uh, and it's usually in a wide array of colors it's really easy to work with and tends to be pretty inexpensive so in my opinion, I feel like Kanikalon is one of the best braiding fibers you can find. Uh, I have the pre-stretched hair here because I feel like it's best for people who are beginners. That way you're not going through stretching. But if you need to know how to do that, I've got tutorials that include that as well. Okay, so we're going to begin on this bottom section of hair here. And you can see I already have a clear line kind of parted out there with my rat tail comb. So I'm just going to go ahead and take another small section like this. I'm showing you guys more of like a box braid type formation which by the way if you are already a somewhat intermediate uh, braider like you already know how to add in here and you're wanting to know how to box braid I have a separate tutorial for that this is really more so for beginners from there I want to make sure that hair is pretty well blown out or stretched and detangled uh, working with hair that has already been blown out some it's just a lot easier to manage okay now when it comes down to the hair we're going to take a small section of hair out and you kind of develop a feel for this or a preference based on how you want your braids to look so I'm just going to take out enough hair really to kind of show you on the tutorial uh, whatever size you end up picking just kind of roll it between your fingers you want that to feel pretty consistent and remember that your braid is always going to be basically double that because it's going to be folded over and braided like this so it's really going to be this thickness here not the individual thickness that you have there i hope that makes sense so after we have our hair sectioned off like this here we're going to take this hair and let me just make sure it's got uh, the right thing in there we're going to take this hair and we're going to separate it and i want to make sure that from what i'm separating that i have about half in one hand and twice as much in it so if i'm splitting this in thirds Basically, I've got two thirds in one hand and one third in the other. Um, or I am essentially just taking half of the amount of what I've got here. So if this feels like about half, then you're, you're good. You're good to go. So we're going to take the bigger piece and we're going to take our smaller piece and just wrap it around the big piece. So basically what we did here, let me take that again. Big piece. Our small piece is just going to wrap around it like that. Okay, so this is our small piece and this is our big piece. So the small piece is this one that's moving, big piece is the one there. So you can see how when I pull them tight, they all look about the same. That's what we're looking for. From there, we're just going to pinch that knot right on in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and pinch between, uh, let's see here, let's pinch between my middle and my uh, thumb and then from there the next strand I'm just going to place between my index finger and thumb the third strand I'm just going to kind of let lay there okay let's go ahead and zoom in here on the mannequin so you can see what we're doing okay so now that we have this section what we're going to do is we're just going to take this hair and we're going to place it directly on top of this here so what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull a bit of the hair out here so like that top half and we're going to place that right in with our middle strand all the way at the scalp like so. Now our second strand, I'm going to come from the left under the middle. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that section of hair directly underneath it. Just like that. Okay. My third strand, we're going to come here to the right and pick up there. So easiest way to do it here is just reach under from the left grip that both of those strands at the same time and pull them back on over to the right. Then go back over here to the left, pull it to the middle, and then one more time, pull that to the middle. So notice the position of my fingers starting out is a bit more like a cornrow. Uh, we're keeping those hands more flat down to the scalp and we're just gonna go ahead and lock this in. Now this will take a little bit of practice for you at first but the more you do it, the easier it gets. 
and I'm gonna braid it down maybe about an inch or so before I flip my hands. So from there, I can go ahead and just stop. Whenever you're braiding too, make sure you're stopping and running your hands through because see how it knots up on the ends here? We wanna make sure that we're just kind of running our hands through there periodically just to ensure. And I'm gonna back you guys up a little bit just so that way we're not taking away from anything. Uh, you wanna draw your hands through there every now and then just to ensure that those ends are not getting tangled up. So you guys can kind of see there, it's knotting up on the ends, pull your fingers through and you're good to go and just finger detangle. Now, I'm not using any product on this mannequin's hair, but if you need to, you can use a braiding gel, you can use a little bit of a styling product or a wax, a pomade, something like that to give you a bit more control and that would be beneficial for you as well. Okay, then when we get down here, let me just go ahead and braid down a little further. When we get down to where the bottoms of the hair are, especially if you're working with like, let's say if you're working with straighter hair that tends to be a lot more prone to uh, slipping, a lot more prone to flyaways, things like that, then we want to ensure that we are slowing down when we get down here. It does help if those ends are not freshly cut, uh, but we're just gonna be slowing down and making sure that we're getting all of those ends tucked right on in there so it just stays nice and neat and snug. Bump you down just a little bit more. Okay. And so we're just gonna braid down to just past the hair of our mannequin. Just like so. And once we have done that, see that? Once we have done that, now from there, after I get past the hair, I can honestly speed up and go whatever speed I'm comfortable with. So you back you up a little more and turn you this way. And then from there, we can go ahead and, and work with that. Now, the thing that I like about working with the tapered hair like this is the fact that the tapered hair, as it goes down towards the bottoms, let me detangle that, as it goes down towards the bottoms, is going to look a lot more natural. So instead of it just ending bluntly, it ends more like this here makes it a lot easier for it to come unravel, or a lot harder for it to come unraveled. Um, now, other thing you wanna keep in mind is whenever you are braiding this hair, uh, you have braided the hair from the scalp here, coming in a downward direction. So after you finish doing a head of braids like this, you wanna make sure that you're waiting at least about a week or so before you pull it up into a ponytail. So if you must do a ponytail, do one, that is a loose ponytail at the base of the head. Um, so like down at the nape, things like that. You don't wanna do a tight ponytail because it can actually cause traction alopecia. Now, for those who don't know, traction alopecia is uh, literally baldness that's caused by overly tight hair. Now, if you can see here, this strand here seems a little too thin to continue with some sort of evenness with what we're working with. So I'm just gonna steal a little bit from the strand next to it. And then from there, we can continue braiding like it never even happened. And uh, you'll notice when we're finished, it's as long as you steal just a little bit and not a massive amount, you can't even tell that you did it. So if you feel like, okay, well, one of these strands looks shorter, no big deal. It'll, it'll work its way out, okay? So that is our finished look there. So let me go ahead and just show you here. This is how those are turning out with no product, anything like that in there. So of course you get even smoother results when you have utilized a product on there. But I hope this has been helpful for you. If so, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so that's it for this time. If you find that you are wanting to learn, like you've mastered this, you wanna learn how to do box braids, I'll link in the description box down below a tutorial for how to do box braids, and I'm showing how to do that on my lovely wife, um, and that way you can learn that as well. So if you feel like you bypassed this, I still have other tutorials to help you out. Until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. You know I love you, boo. Bye.